Hey guys, so, um, this topic today is going to be about what to do after you purge. So, I just like clap, that was kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <clears throat> first thing, well, this is if you mess up, I wouldn't say that you should plan on purging and then this be like your recovery and that you're going to be all better and perfect and you won't have any physical side effects to it. No, you're still going to have lots of physical side effects from your bulimia because bulimia is harmful no matter what you do to prevent the damages. Like, there's going to be some damages. And, yeah, um, lots of things can happen. Like, you can rupture your stomach, your esophagus, and um, your teeth can wear down. They can fall out. Um, you'll have ulcers before you're 30. Your teeth fall out before you're 30. Um, 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 well, there's lots of things that could happen, and like, yeah. You can pass out, it can lead to sudden death, cardiac arrest, heart attacks, panic attacks. I've had, um, four oncoming panic attacks, but only two of them fully happened. And trust me, it's horrible. You guys don't want to have panic attacks. Actually, I have five oncoming, if you think about it, because I was at the hospital. Okay, anyway, so, um, yeah, you really want to, um, limit like how much you purge and try not to do it at all like seriously you gotta stop because it's so bad for you I encourage you to get help whenever you can um the school counselor is very reliable um to be honest um if I tell like my doctors or my therapists that I've been purging they'll send me to an eating disorder unit and I told my counselor nothing happened she won't tell anyone unless they ask and she's not going to go saying, hey, guess what, I know about everything about Lauren. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. She can't just do that. It's kind of against the rules of confidentiality. So, yeah, definitely do get help. You can tell a friend. You can go on, um, like, the Internet and look up information for, like, help forms and help hotlines and things like that. You just, you really need to stop before it gets serious. Because I know you might think that you're the one exception that, it's not that serious for you, and that really it's going to go away. It's just a little phase, and you're going to be able to stop. You're not going to be able to stop. I thought I was going to be able to stop, and when they ha when I was, when it was less um, controlling of me, I felt like, uh, I can choose if I want to do it or not, because I was like, once I thought, do I really want to do this? And I'm like, yes, I do. It's going to be so good, the food, and then later on, probably like three months after that, now I'm like, I don't want to do this. But I'm walking into the kitchen. I don't want to do this, but I'm eating the food. I don't want to do this, but I'm throwing up. You know, it's kind of, the control gets taken away from you. It really does. Even if you think it's not going to get taken away from you, it does. Because, in the first place, you're not controlling it. The demon inside you is controlling it. You're not controlling it. Believe me. So, eating disorders, you're not controlling anything. It's the demon inside you that's controlling everything. And you need to get that control back before it takes too much control of you. So, yeah, they got really deep, but um, you just need to get help before something very, very serious happens. Um, so, yeah, um, <clears throat> what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is um, use some kind of mouthwash, something that will help get rid of the acid, the stomach acid that was in your stomach after you purged. Um, sometimes I like to take baking soda, mix it in water, like warm water, to kill the, um, you know, um, stomach acids, and I, like, drink it, and it really just clears out your esophagus, and sometimes I'll, I'm sorry, I'll get mouthwash, and I'll kind of drink some of it, but, um, don't drink too much, like, that can be bad for you in, um, maximum amount. So, yeah, just um, kind of like have something that refreshes your breath. Do not brush your teeth afterwards. That is a major no-no because if you do that, you're actually just wearing down the enamel because when you're purging, um, after you purge, the enamel on your teeth is actually soft from the acids. And if you try to brush away the acids, the brush will actually um, tear down that soft and softened enamel and you'll get rid of some of your enamel. So definitely wait at least an hour and a half after you to brush your teeth because that can be really damaging. That will just speed up the damage that is already being done. Um, the second thing is to 
replace something that you have just eaten. Now, if you weren't hungry from the start and you just saw food and it was your appetite and not physical hunger, then you don't need to do this. But if you are physically hungry, you need to nourish your body and um, being fat or overweight is much less important than your body being healthy and having nutrition because actually an overweight person is more healthy than an underweight person because an underweight person cannot um, they cannot like n nurture their own body because they have so little of their own body and an overweight person they have enough fuel stored fuel that they can actually nurture themselves for much longer and survive much longer without food that does not give you the excuse to um, starve yourself or purge more because then you will damage your body and people won't be able to recognize it and be when they recognize it it'll be too late okay that got really deep again i'm sorry i like go like way too into it but yeah i'm um, definitely replace the meal that you were um you just ate and um something nice and kind like a pear um some kind of fruit carrots i love those um peanut butter jelly sandwich those are my favorite um and like a piece of bread, just anything really that's going to replace the meal that you, or snack that you just perched. Um, <clears throat> third thing you need to do is take some kind of recovery drink or something that has lots of electrolytes in it. Um, for example, you need potassium and sodium. I think those are the two most important things that you lose when you purge. Um, so yeah, take some like... You can also take baking soda because that has sodium in it. And then an apple which has the potassium. Um, it has about 200 or 300 milligrams of potassium, apples do. Um, so yeah, definitely do have an apple. <laughs> They're really rich in potassium. I'm pretty sure they are more rich in potassium than bananas are. So yeah, I um, you know how people say bananas are rich in potassium. Apples are even more rich in, potass in potassium. So you should definitely have um, an apple and a glass of sodium, like salt and water. Um, I know that doesn't sound that appetizing, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Um, but the better I like something better for you might be this NL Fully Loaded Recovery Drink, which is from GNC. It's flavored vanilla, and it has about 380 grams of potassium and sodium in it, and it tastes so good and it tastes so nurturing when you're shaky and when you just purged or when you're just feeling shaky because you've been purging or you haven't been eating enough because then your electrolytes get drained out of you. Um, so, um, yeah, and also, fourth thing, um, this isn't really a thing that I need to act upon, but you need to stop it. Um, don't exercise after you purge or if you have been purging. Seriously, um, some people have died of that. They go into cardiac arrest and they have heart attacks. It really happens. People have heart attacks because they've been purging and they exercise right afterwards or like a day afterwards. So, it, let's say you purged today. You had a really bad day and you purged. Um, don't exercise at all today or um, probably like tomorrow either because your heart needs to replenish itself and get back to health. Um, you may think it's okay too since it's been like a day. But, um, really, no. Your body needs time to recover, and even that isn't enough. Your body really needs a long, long time to recover from the physical side effects of purging. Um, and if you would like to purge, like, get rid of the calories, I strongly don't suggest, um, laxatives because your body gets addicted to them because it, it'll get dependent on them, and pretty soon, um, you'll actually need those because your bowel system will be so used to using them that it'll depend on the fiber in them to get rid of it, and you'll become severely constipated unless you have the laxatives. Even though laxatives are, um, very harmful to your body if used in, like, um, a large quantity, so, yeah, definitely be very careful with that. Don't even start them. I know you might think you're going to be able to stop, but just, like, with, um, smoking and purging and starving and binging and eating way too healthy, um, you probably won't be able to stop without help. Very likely you won't be able to, so just don't start. Um, and I forgot what I was saying. I got too deep in it again. Um, yeah, um, you can also recommend if you want to get rid of the calories, exercise, go on a walk, do some yoga. 
Um, for me, yoga burns 2.4 calories every minute. So in a 10-minute yoga session, I can burn 24 calories and, you know, um, bike rides, 46 calories per minute. I mean, no, oh my gosh, I wish, um, per, t um, mile for me. That's what I think it is, at least. I just kind of measure it out. So, yeah, um, running a mile would burn about 100 calories for the average person. That's not individually you. Like, I would definitely recommend going on, like, a calculator thing and finding that out. Actually, no, I don't recommend that because that might be triggering. But, yeah, just go on, like, a walk or something after you eat something that you don't feel comfortable with eating. Unless if you're not allowed to, then don't, obviously, because they have you on exercise restriction if they do for varied reasons, like your heart could stop at any time, skip a beat, um, you could lose more weight, and I know that may have been triggering, but you don't want to lose any more weight than you have because it can put you at more health risks, and as you get older, you may get more health risks. So I'm going to end that at that. I hope you guys were informed by this video. So yeah, just remember, one, rinse, like rinse out all the acids and cleanse yourself. Two, um, I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, replace the meal. Three, take a, like, um, a recovery drink with electrolytes or something that has a lot of electrolytes in it and things like that, like potassium and sodium. And four, um, don't exercise, just relax, lay down, do something that is nice and relaxing. Um, so yeah, I will end up at that. I hope you guys have a very nice day or night or whatever time it is. So, um, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing.